Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I just wanted to give you a quick little update on uh, our main iPhone 6 here. I did accidentally drop this thing into a bucket of water while I was washing my car. Uh, my car ended up just fine and nice and clean, but I did have to stop uh, listening to music on my phone while I took proper precautions to make sure that it still worked. So as you can see, it is still working. It's been just over 24 hours since it happened. And uh, basically what happened was I was washing my car had a light jacket on and you know those little pockets that are like uh, I don't know they're kind of more towards the center of the jacket near the zipper well I just stuck my phone in there with my headphones uh, in my ears and it slipped out as I was bending over to grab uh, one of the microfiber cloths from the bucket of water and it fell in so it immediately fell in I immediately grabbed it and pulled it out shook it out and wiped it off and the first thing I should have done was power it off which I didn't do I shook it off and kind of dried it as much as I could but um, if one of you guys ever drops your phone in some water the first thing you should do is always power it off so you don't short circuit anything from the water being in there I of course didn't think of this because I didn't really think this was gonna happen I mean I knew it had a potential to happen because those pockets are very open but anyways so what I did was like I said shook it uh, tried to drain all the water out of it then I wiped it down then I powered it off completely and stuck it into a bag of rice for a couple hours and then I was looking up online and I realized that putting it into a bag of rice really doesn't do a whole lot apparently it kinda just keeps people from turning it on charging it you definitely do not want to plug it in um, so I then took it out of the rice and used a mini blow dryer on it which is kind of a bad idea if you're not careful um, you have to make sure that it doesn't get too hot but I just used that and I just kinda put it into these ports and just blew some warm air into there to kind of aid in the evaporation process and all over the phone. So until it was a little warm, then I would uh, set it down. Then I grabbed a normal fan, just like a standalone fan, and set it down like this, and had the fan facing this way, and it just blew some air into these ports. And uh, that supposedly, I guess, dried it out a little bit. And what did I do after that? So then I just, I put it on one of the vents of the home, like, centralized air vents, whatever you call them, in the ground. I set it on top of there for a couple minutes, but it got really hot, so I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, but it was off and everything, so um, thinking that that would help the evaporation process. At this point, it's like 2 a.m. It happened at about, I don't know, 4 p.m. So it had been quite a few hours, still off, never turned it on. Then I just set it next to my bed at night, used my other iPhone uh, to play my games and do my stuff, and then woke up the next morning, and that was this morning, and I turned it on and everything was fine except if I go onto a white screen here I don't know if you can see this or not but there is a very faint discoloration right here it's like a um, let me try to focus this in I don't know if you guys can see that but there's like a dark spot right there there was one up top and apparently I mean this could just be I think it's just moisture that's left behind I think there's some up here at least there was uh, I think that that will dry out. What I read online was someone someone's mentioned that they turned up their brightness all the way and then stuck it in a bag of rice while plugged in for like 16 hours. That sounds like a terrible idea. Like 12 people replied saying, oh, it worked for me, oh, it worked for me. Uh, I think that's a bad idea because think about it. If one little bit of dust uh, from the rice, you know, gets into this port, which it will, uh, it could start a fire and then, you know, combust and that would be terrible. So you risk, you know, losing your home to that. So it's not really worth it to me just to get that little bit off of there. I don't know if it would work anyway or if those people are just idiots, but I think it should dry out on its own and that should hopefully go away. If you guys have any, like, experience with dropping... I've never dropped my phone in any water or cracked a screen or anything like that. So I don't... And I also don't use a case, which, you know, whatever. Live life on the edge, right? Uh, but... You know, if any of you guys have had any experience with this, let me know if this discoloration will go away. It's not a huge deal to me. Uh, this phone is definitely not in perfect condition, and I don't care because I'm not going to sell it. Uh, just add it to my collection and get the iPhone 7 when it comes out. So as long as it works, I'm cool with it. Um, but yeah, luckily when I, w when I dropped it into the water bucket, it went in for like a second and I pulled it out. And I had the headphone jack, you know, plugged because I had my headphones in. So I think that that helped a little bit. Uh, it stopped some of the water from going in. Everything works just fine. My battery did, uh, when I turned it on, it was at 90%. And like 10 or 20 minutes later, it was down to 77 and then it dropped to 70%. And it stayed at 70% for like three hours as I did stuff, uh, which was insane. 
Um, but then it eventually started dropping and then it died at 15% in my car at some point. Um, but I wasn't using it, but I think that's just cause it got really cold and temperature can affect battery life. So I charged it. I should have gotten it up to hundred percent before I took it off, but I really wanted to make this video real quickly for you guys. So if you ever, you know, drop your phone into some water and you're not sure what to do, first thing to do, just power it off. That's don't panic or anything. Just turn it off, shake it. And, um, you know, make sure you get all the water out cause there will be water dripping from the bottom of it, uh, for a while. Cause if, depending on how long it was submerged and, uh, try to, Get it a little bit warm just to aid the evaporation process. If you feel tempted to like, you're afraid you're going to power it on or charge it, do not plug in a charger. Do not, do not do that. That's the worst thing you can do. Um, so if you feel tempted to do that, just put it in a bag of rice, not plugged in, not on. Um, I did get a piece of rice stuck in my headphone jack, which kind of pissed me off for a little bit, but it was pretty easy to get out. But I was still like, what the hell? And if I wouldn't have noticed it and I would have tried to jam a headphone cable into there it could have uh could have messed some stuff up so you got to be careful but anyways that's just my quick little story i know this is kind of a longer video but it's worth watching and worth learning about so from my experience my iphone 6 is just fine after being dropped in water uh for about a second not anything too severe um, but we'll see if it holds up it should i'm pretty confident that it is just fine so yeah, guys, let me know uh, what you guys think about this, and if you guys have had a similar experience, drop a comment down below saying what you did right or what you did wrong, and I will be sure to read those. So that's about it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.